so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing extremely well and this is your very own mask order this side so as you can see the video of the video of the today is, is gonna be on the problem geek and its game of coins so what does it say it says there are two problems one is geek right and one one is his friend right let us name it as player player a and player b obviously they are taking alternative turns right and geek is starting first this is given to you geek is starting at the first first person to make a move now it is said who wins who wins the person who chooses the last the person who performs the operation successfully at last who performs the last operation successfully last operation successfully wins right that means the person who is not able to perform the last operation successfully that means it loses right what is the operation now so you can see I have written n equals to 5 that means you have initially you have 5 coins initially you have 5 coins and there are 3 types of retrievals from it that is you can either take 1 coin from it or you can take x coins from it or you can take y coins from it that is you can either take 1 coin x is given to me 4 either I can either take 4 coins I can either take 3, to, three coins now it has been given to me that both the players play optimally both the players both the players play optimally that is no one wins uh, no one plays to lose players play optimally no one plays to lose right so is it possible that a wins is it possible that for the given scenario of n x y a wins if yes return true if no return false that is a question to you how will you solve it how will you solve it the approach is simple the approach is simple suppose i have got n equals to five coins I will say that I will create an array of n equals to 5 plus 1. That is, I will create an array of size 5 plus 1. That is, I want the maximum index to be n. Right? So, this is index number 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, index 5. Right? Initially, fill them all with 0. Fill all of them with 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What does 0 state? 0 states that the zero is stating that currently like this is the array for winning of a array of a win array of a win that is if it is zero if let us say this name is array if arri is equals to zero that means a will lose for that number of n a will lose for that for that n right if it is equals to equals to one a will win that is my current scenario if it is 0, then A will lose, otherwise A will win. Currently, I am saying that A is losing for every case, right? Now, I want to find the cases where for X, Y and 1, this N is actually winning, right? So, suppose I have got 0 number of coins. If I have got 0 number of coins, I said first turn is for A. So, A will come and see if he, if he is not able to take any operation, if he is not able to take any number of coins from the set of coins here present here, then it is losing, right? So, for 0 coins, A is losing. For 0 coins, A is losing. So, 0 will remain 0 for 0. It will remain 0. It is will be remaining 0. Think, uh, what I am saying is, if A is not able to take any number of coins, A is losing, right? Moving on to 1. Moving on to 1. For 1, A has 3 options. I can either take 1 coin, 4 coin, 3 coin. 4 and 3 are not possible because they are greater than 1, correct? Now, for 1, I if I take 1 coin, if I take 1 coin, then player B will be left with 0 coins player b will be left with zero coins now if a was losing for zero b will also lose for zero if a was losing for zero b will also lose for zero how can we say because this is representing zero so if a was losing for zero b is also losing for zero any player with zero number of coins with zero will lose right so if b is equals to zero b is losing and if b is losing what does it say a is winning and if a is winning i can either say, I, I can easily say that for this case a is equals to one for this case, a is equals to 1. I will the uh, array of i equals to 1. Now, I can use this uh, iteration for 2 to 5. I can use this iteration for 2 to 5. What will I do? I will use a loop. I will use a loop. Uh, let's say for i equals to 2 moving up till n. What will happen? What will happen? First, I will be reducing i. So, j equals to i minus 1 first case. Sec this is what first case. j equals to i minus x second case third case equals to j equals to i minus y right what will i do these are three cases for each case what will i do 
I will say if j is greater than equals to 0 that is j is not got out of bounds it, it uh, if suppose I am standing at 1 and I reduce 4 as I said 4 is not possible here why 4 is not possible suppose that only occurs and I see that I want to take uh, I am 1 minus 4 that is I take, want to take the array of minus 3 array of minus that not, not possible right maximum in, minimum index is 0 so if j is greater than 0 and array of j is equals to equal to 0 if array of j is equals to equal to 0 that means player with uh, player with that turn player with turn uh, lying on array of 0 will 0 will uh, will lose that means if i take suppose i my j is i minus 1 if i take one coin then b will land on a position where it is losing and if b is losing my a is winning so if for all three keys i will say array of i equals to 1 there is no else case for all of these right if a is greater than or equals to 0 and array of j equals to equal to 0 array of i equals to 1 and I can simply return the DP uh, array of n return array of n because I want the final position if it is winning for the five number of coins or not so what what is the, what will the DP array look at the last so I will starting from 2 I will be saying 2 has three cases 1 2 minus 4 give me minus 2 2 minus 3 give me minus 1 not possible not possible for 1 for 1 it is uh, 1 that is player B will win so 2 will remain 0 for 3 what will happen 3 cases 2 3 minus 4 gives me uh, minus 1 and 3 minus 3 gives me 0 minus 1 is not possible 2 2 is actually giving me 0 2 is actually giving me 0 that means if I take one coin and I go to 2 B will be losing so I will say 3 equals to 1 I don't want to check another one because 3 equals to 1 has has been done moving on for 4 again 3 cases 4 minus 1 gives me 3 4 minus 4 gives me 0 and 4 minus th 3 gives me 1 for 3 it is 1 for 0 it is 0 for 1 it is 1 now I can say for 0 it is 0 for 0 it is 0 if I take 4 number of coins and B will lose right moving on to 5 again 3 cases 5 minus 1 4 5 minus 4 3 uh, 5 minus 4 sorry 1 5 minus 3 gives me 2 now at 4 it is 1 at 1 it is 1 at 2 it is 0 that means if I take 3 number of coins from 5 5 minus 3 will give me 2 right and because of this 2 b will lose that means a will win that means a win so i will convert this 0 to this one and as you can see i will be returning array of i uh, array of n sorry so i will be returning one that is my answer what is the time complexity you took only n operations and what is the space complexity you took only n space for this array for this array that's all right now let us write the code for it right let us let us write the code for it Alright, so here is the coding section. Before starting with the code, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible. Moving on, what will I do? My first approach was to create a vector of int dp of size n plus 1. Fill them all with 0. Right? dp of 0 was remaining 0 only, but dp of 1 was 1. Now for int i going from 2, i equals to 2, i less than equals to n, i plus plus. What will I do? I will say int j equals to i minus 1 second case j equals to i minus x third case j equals to i minus y right for all the cases i will copy pasting right down so if j is greater than equals to 0 and array of j equals to equal to 0 in that case convert the array of i can con this will be array not dp i don't know why i am treating, treating as dp only so array of i equals to 1 and you can break that is you don't need to check for the below test cases right moving on let me copy paste it here and here right for the all the three cases right and at last you will simply return what is present on the nth position so array of n let us try to compile and let us try to submit it uh, submit it because the connection is not good uh, here let us try to submit it Okay, so let us try to submit it. Hope it works fine. It should not give any error. And it is running. 